Hello everyone. In this video, let's try and see what is training set and testing set. Now what will happen if we have uh, one data set to work with? Uh, well, one thing we can do that we can divide this large data set into two smaller sets and use one for training and one for testing. Now we need to keep them separate. Uh, it is very important that we do randomization before splitting this data so that we do not end up, you know, having uh, discrepancies in data. And like, uh, for example, we don't want our winter data in one training set and our uh, summer data in another training set. A uh, very simple uh, example is given here for all your X input variable. You know your target value Y. Uh, you divide your data set randomly into two sets, training and test sets. Uh, now, another thing is uh, how large should we make our two splits? The larger we make our training set, the better model we would get. And the larger we make our testing set, then we are able to have confidence in our evaluation. Usually, uh, you should do 70 was a 30 percent. That is 70 uh, percent of your data set should be your training set and 30 percent should be your um, testing set. Now, that also depends upon uh, how large or small your data set is. OK, so first step is to split data into train and test set. When you separate a data set into a training set and testing set, most of the data is used for training and a smaller portion of data is used for testing, like 70, 30 or 80, 20, depending upon the size of your data set. The splitting should be random so that the testing and training sets are similar as this would minimize the effect of data discrepancies. Step two is build a model on training set. So in this, you have the input data together with correct expected output. So you train your algorithm or model builder by pairing the input with expected output. So by training set, we, we build our prediction algorithm model. Step three is evaluation of our model using test set. So after a model has been processed by using the training set, you test the model by making predictions against the test set. Because the data in the test testing set already contains known values for the attributes that you want to predict. So it is easy to determine whether the model guesses are correct. The model gives the predicted value of the input data from test set. We already know the target value of the data set. That is, we know the actual value. So now we have predicted an actual value for evaluation. If the predicted and actual values 100% matches, then we can say that like our model is 100% accurate, but this is very ideal. So by this, we can evaluate how good or bad our model is. Uh, just to recap, we have our initial data and in step one, we split our data set into training and testing set. In step two, the model is created by using the training data and, and the testing data is hidden from model during training phase. And in step three, once the training is over, we expose testing data to model. Now model provides output on the testing data. If the results of the model are expected, then we know that our model is mature enough for, for production purposes. Else the model goes back to training phase. All right, so in next video, we'll see uh, what is overfitting and underfitting with respect to training set. I hope this information was helpful. Thank you for watching.